This is hydrogen tap. If you've looked at the other videos, you've noticed that there's a chart in the hydrogentap.com. If you go there, you'll see the mileage chart. I put about five or six Phillips in the chart there before I ran the hydrogen, the focus cell. I had one or two emails still not quite following everything and bring up the fact that because I changed the wiring in the spark plugs and the spark plugs that I should get better mileage without it. What actually happened is I got a decrease in mileage and that was all done before I did the focus cell. So we actually start backwards on it from doing the wiring. I actually lost two miles per gallon after I put the wiring in. You can go to hydrogentap.com and see that, or you can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. One of the things I did this morning was put more electrolyte in the system because I haven't actually gone over the 12 amps. Actually, it was only running around 10 amps. And now I've brought it up to a little bit over 15. I plan to bring it up to 30 amps. So the mileage that you're looking at isn't even running at 15 amps. So after this morning, I noticed a definite increase in speed, barely touching the accelerator and getting more power out of the engine. One of the things that was interesting, I got a great email today, and that was because I've been reporting that I haven't put any more any more water in the system, but I have been putting a lot of water in the bubbler, which I should have known this, but for some reason too busy to something. And that is that the bubbler and the cell are probably working together in that when you turn the engine off it's probably sucking the water from the bubbler back into the cell which makes sense. To compensate for that what I'm going to do is put electrolyte in the bubbler so when it goes back I'll actually be adding water to the cell via the bubbler. That should make some sense. I think that's going to be a neat innovation and I hope you think the same. Again, if you're interested, you can go to hydrogentap.com and see the mileage on it. Right now, I'm definitely seeing an increase after I'm putting more electrolyte in it. I'm barely touching the gas pedal and it's taking off. see I'm now running at least 15 amps. I don't know how that's going to be cold. What I'm trying to do is reach 30 and so I gotta go slowly here. But it is definitely creating a vast more amount of energy now that I've added the extra electrolyte. If you want to check the amperage there it's idling here, and I'll bring the idle up a little bit. It's still almost 14 amps, or 14 volts. So the extra charge is not hurting it at all. It's hard to really see exactly how far that is. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like it's much over 15 but from what you're viewing it is so if I can put it straight up there shows that it's not quite well, okay it looks like it's going up now so we are almost 30 it's definitely definitely showing up in the the way the engine's responding. I'm going to be trying to run this at 30. 
and then after 30 I'm going to start working on the cooling system. One of the interesting thing I've been doing of course and I've told you is I've been constantly having to re-screw down this top until now it is tight and if you look at the seal it is really squashed down that's about as tight as it's going to go and I haven't had any more problems with that seal at all so the problem is that until you get to this point you still have to tighten down on it what I'm going to do is probably seal it with the same glue that I'm using to the bottom and what I'll have to do to separate it will be a little more problem but I think it's well worth it not to have to worry about this seal. Everything else is staying fine. Everything else is tight. No problems whatsoever. Now what I'm going to do is check the air filter, which I haven't done. We'll do that here. It's John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com or you can go to my site HydrogenTap.com and see the mileage chart there. Also I have on that site if you click on YouTube or videos you'll see the YouTube's links and the link there will enable you to go directly to the new videos that I've made. So there you have it. So we're getting ready for the next test and that is to up it to 30 over 30 amps and we'll see how that works. Again you can go to hydrogentap.com. I have some excellent, excellent still pictures of this unit if you have any more questions.